Hello everybody, have you all been here? Okay, very good. Now please make your seat comfortable and if you have some questions or some problems when I'm speaking or during our tour, just let me know, don't hesitate. Well, everybody, let me introduce to you our team. This is Mr. Joe Goldberg as our driver. I know that Mr. Joe is good looking but he's married. By the way, please everyone, say hi to our driver. Thank you. I assure you that our team will be safe because Mr. Joe has vast experience working in the transportation of goods and passengers, adept in safe driving practices and traffic laws. He has almost 10 years of experience in this profession. For you not to be confused about our vehicle, it is Victory Liner with a body number of 8156 and plate of ABC 1234. Okay, when regards to our safety rules and precautions, do not leave your seat while the bus is moving. Second, no smoking, lighted matches, or open flame is permitted inside the bus. It is important that you mind some basic rules to keep the trip safe and enjoyable. As we head to our first destination, let me tell you about the Botanical Garden's history. It started many years ago, before being known to what it is today, this botanical garden of Baguio City had many names. Igorot Village for the different Cordillera huts and statues that decorated the park. Imelda Park named after then the first lady of the Philippines for such a long time. Botanical and Zoological Garden was said to have been a zoo. And most recently, Centennial Park in celebration of 100 years of Baguio City. Upon arriving at Botanical Garden, you will welcome by stunning sculpture made of stone painted in bronze that depicts the different rituals of Cordillera tribes. And real Igorots dress in their traditional clothes willing to take a photo with you for a minimal fee. Once you're inside, you will see several gardens, an art gallery, and souvenir stalls selling native handicrafts lined up in a row. Then you'll see also the different relics from Botanical Gardens Igorot Village Days with large statues showing different Cordillera tribesmen and symbols and the native Cordillera hats. Via Leonard Wood Road and a travel time of 4 minutes with a distance of 2.3 kilometers, we will arrive at our first destination. My dear tourists, along our trip, expect to see tall pine trees as well as restaurants that satisfy your cravings when you want to come and visit the botanical garden again, and some of landmarks along our route, such as the Lateral White House, popularly known as White House. Next is the Baguio Teacher's Camp, sometimes referred as Teacher's Camp, is a teacher's training center and events venue. And lastly, Yonard Wood Terraces. For you to have more stories here in Baguio City, I will allow you to take some pictures along our route. You have 10 minutes to take pictures of every landmark. Okay, my dear tourists, sit back and relax and enjoy the tour.